Well, tonight does mark the end of an era in reality TV. The series finale of Keeping Up with the Kardashians airs in just a few hours. It's been one of the most talked about reality shows since premiering all the way back in 2007. And joining us now to talk about the big event and reflect on how the long life of the show, our very own Sam Rubin, live in Los Angeles. Sam, it took the Kardashians calling it quits for me to finally get to talk to you live. Well, it's really nice to talk to you live, Nokel, at the end of an era, to be sure. The Kardashian show, which has been on essentially forever, has brought in over $100 million to the E! Network. And that's not all. As you'll see here, some billionaires have emerged from the Kardashian-Jenner clan. Look. Enough. That's where it all started 20 seasons, 268 episodes, and nearly 14 years ago. The Kardashian Jenners opened their home to a camera crew and America, allowing us to get an inside look at their celebrity lifestyle, creating memorable moments along the way. My diamond earring came up in the ocean and it's gone. I'm and not... there's people that are dying. The show documented the good, the bad, and the ugly of the blended family throughout the years, from fights and breakups to weddings and pregnancies. Are you pregnant? I'm pregnant. Yes. Keeping up with the Kardashians, now a global phenomenon, being aired in 90 countries and 20 languages. The family has used the show to launch dozens of business ventures over the years. Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner both landing on Forbes' billionaire list in recent years. Let's talk about skims. Hey guys, this is my purple palette. The rest of the sisters, all worth tens of millions of dollars each, bringing the family's net worth to more than $2 billion. But now, the show that launched the family into stardom is coming to a close. We just wanted to tell you in person that we won't be going forward with filming the show anymore. After 20 seasons, the Kardashian Jenners ending their journey on E! Tonight. I just want you to know that I really appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. Now, you can watch the reunion on E! Uh, tonight, the final episode, two reunion specials to follow. If you're a fan of the Kardashians, and many are, do not despair, they will resurface anew, a new, even more lucrative deal with the streaming service Hulu and new episodes of a slightly retitled and reworked show. In the meantime, and let's see now if I can get them all right, Chris, Courtney, <laughs> Kim, uh, Chloe, Chloe, Kylie, Kylie, uh, and and uh, Kendall, there Kendall. we go. I got, you got them. All. Yeah, you got. Uh, I don't even watch the show, but no, I, I feel like you know they're such a part of popular culture, Sam. You know, and say what you will, twenty seasons, billions of dollars. They did something right, I guess. They, they did something right. And interestingly enough, this show was actually a last minute replacement. E had planned a reality show with Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay got a D was taken uh, sort of un unavailable for production, and this was sort of waiting in the wings, came right in. The whole thing emerged. Kris Jenner had these wild dinner parties every Sunday night at the family home in Hidden Hills, and one of her guests, Kathy Lee Gifford, said, Chris, there's a TV show here. She started to pursue it, and as we've all learned, indeed there was. Absolutely. 20 seasons later. All right. Sam Rubin, thank you so much.